Welcome to our next episode of the series. We're going to talk today about some of the supplementary drills of Wing Chun. What we mean by supplementary drills is drills that are associated with Qi Sao in the forms, but are not just the Qi Sao drill. Qi Sao is the most famous Wing Chun drill, but there's a bunch of other drills that are closely connected that help us develop skills to another degree and isolate certain skills. A very important aspect of fighting the Wing Chun system is to be able to use the hands independently. And one of the drills that's often very overlooked in some families of Wing Chun is what we call Fan Sao. Literally, Fan means reaction. So Fan Sao is I'm learning to react correctly against certain kinds of pressure. So it appears to be very much the same as the normal Tun Sao action, which is the rolling part of Qi Sao, except at the top and the bottom of each roll, I introduce an action with my hand and my partner's hand. He then introduces an action to me with a punch and I deflect it and then we change. Now he becomes the first move, I become the second move and we change. So basically at the bottom of the exercise we're doing the movements from single hand qi sao. There's the jing jiao, the vertical palm. He's doing a punch and I'm doing tan. When we change, He's doing the jing jiao, I'm doing jam sao to deflect it, and then I'm giving him a punching movement so he can use the tan sao. That particular tan sao is the one you see in the sin and tao form after we come out the first time and then sink to do jam sao and then go forward again as a short version of tan sao. Now, what's this got to do with developing the reflexes? The main problem we face as humans is we tend to move with sympathetic movement. That means when one hand's going one way, the other hand tends to do something else. And often it means that if I'm bending down, for example, for something, I'll counterbalance with the other hand. If I'm reaching up for something, I'll counterbalance. In fighting, what that implies is if I want to hit him with this hand, I might, without realizing it, withdraw the other hand, and that's going to get me hit. In Qi Sao, we want to keep both hands active all the time. But even in this basic exercise, we might, while we're busy with one hand, relax and forget about the other one and get hit. Or I might be busy with this hand and forget about this hand and I'll get hit. What this drill introduces is the idea that while the bottom hands are kept very busy, the two hands at the top are learning not to move. So he attacks, I defend at the bottom and so does he, while these two hands remain unmoving. And that's really important because I need those hands to stay where they are. Because right now, that hand of Gandak is still a threat. If I lose that, I'm going to get hit. If he moves that, he's going to get hit. So I'm keeping the contact and I'm keeping the position so that my arms are learning to work independently of each other. All right, so that's a brief look at what Fan Sao can help us with. It'll probably come into the conversation when we look at the next aspect in the next episode. So we'll talk about it then. Thank you.